Excellent. So, who wants to actually see inside the Taylor trenches this time? Anyone? Should we go grey lace or yellow Victoria Beckham first? Uh, should we do grey lace? Yellow Victoria Beckham. <laughs> I'm seeing yes as you can see and hear me. I think the comments are delayed because I ask a question and the co and the comments come up like about two minutes a minute after I've said it. So if I'm not reacting fast, it's because it's not coming up until a little bit later. So I'm going to have to guess. I'm going to say let's go grey because it's the one that's right to that lace. Thank you, Candice. Okay, good. So for those of you um, before who didn't um, see me saying about the top I'm wearing today, it is the Mariella and I've done the top length. So it's um, uh, just a, comes through just about my hip bones. Um, I, I've cut it ever so slightly shorter than the pattern because I'm short and the pattern's designed for five foot six uh, and this fabric is a random eBay purchase it kind of feels like lycra um, it's a little bit lighter weight um, and it's it just said stretch fabric so um, heavens knows what it is um, but it's kind of like lycra it's probably got a lot of spandex and it would be my guess and it drapes um, that kind of lycra-y type feel does drape really nicely on these bits that come out from underneath. So, Mariella pattern, random fabric in a mustard colour. <laughs> That's all I can tell you about it. So, um, lace tailor trench. This one we did a little bit of hacks on, but not as many as the other one I'm going to show you. Uh, this one my mum helped make. Uh, Mummykins, um, who, thank you very much. <laughs> um, and I've worn this an absolute ton. Um, I've got a lot of Taylor trench coats, like at least eight, maybe. I've got a lot of Taylor trench coats. It's a fantastic pattern. Uh, and what I, the other ones that I've got, I've done them in varying weights. So I've got a couple which I've done in um, like a almost a wool blend, and they've got a, a proper lining fabric inside. So they're like a winter coat. And for those ones, because it's a much thicker fabric than the patterns designed for, um, we've upsized, I've upsized one size just to give myself a little bit of extra room inside it because it's a, it's quite a fitted coach pattern. It's not a, a big, loose, baggy winter coach pattern. And I wanted to have kind of more comfort for winter when you carry any bags and you've got jumpers and kids and all of that stuff. So, uh, but these ones are done in the right size for me. So they are more fitted. And what I particularly wanted these two for is to wear with jeans or a t-shirt and um, and both obviously not one or the other <laughs> jeans or a t-shirt gosh that wouldn't be that wouldn't be great would it um jeans and a t-shirt uh or a dress and have it um just kind of comfortable relaxed and and not do them up so um these ones don't have uh, this one doesn't have buttons at all down the front so there's absolutely nothing to close this with and if you wanted to do a dress coat um and you wanted to do it up obviously put buttons on it but if not you don't have to like this a pattern is a pattern for you to make it your own so that was the the main hack to this um it's done this one's done out of a lace both for the lining and for the main so um, it's exactly the same fabric on both sides and it means you can't see um, the inside of the garment so it's all completely um, all completely enclosed um, it is as you can see slightly see-through because of the lace but that was the look that I wanted um, if you wanted to do it without any lining at all it is a bit trickier and I would only suggest doing that if you're really quite comfortable with hacking patterns um, and if you were to do that I would suggest doing the inside facing and then leaving the rest open uh, but the because it's quite a physically large garment and you're wearing it over other things the lining does give it structure so um yeah if you want to try that try it see but don't use your best fabric in case it doesn't work out <laughs> one of those ones that you can try and just see um so this one has the um uh the uh lapel yokes i think i, I would call these yokes but um, I don't know if that's technically the right name for them at the front and it's also got these little um, things on the shoulder and then on the other side this back yoke goes all the way up to the top and you can leave it on or off and there is an option to put a button in the middle to hold it down like a traditional trench coat in the actual pattern uh, but um, I have not done that um, I've 
on the front here, I knew there was another hack to show you. Um, on the front here, you'll see I've put in, well, we've put in, mum has, um, put in the, as if it's a welt pocket to give it the look on the front. So it's got this little welt thing here, but she hasn't actually put a pocket. There's no pocket in there. So you can't, you can't open it. And I keep, I, I keep going to put my fingers because <laughs> I'm used to the pockets. But the um, the great thing about this is that it's literally just stitch a, this is not in the pattern just stitch a square of fabric and stitch it on uh, and um, that's all you have to do to do that it's a lot easier than a welt pocket it gives you the look but there's absolutely no functionality to that uh, but it's cute it looks cute so that is the gray one and then this is I think my current favorite sew so I, oh no, there's a new pattern coming out in a few weeks that is so, um, it's actually an easy sew, it's a blouse, and it's an easy sew if you make it in a normal fabric, and I made it in a chiffon, and it just took forever, and that actually, I really love complicated sews that take forever, and then is kind of one of my favourites, and then my other favourite thing to do is just to make quick and easy ones, like the Mariella, you can cut it out, stitch it up, and you'll be wearing it in about an hour and a half, but um, yeah, exactly, the only time a faked pocket is acceptable is on that kind of coat where it looks fabulous, <laughs> um, so what was I saying, um, oh yes, I, I like really complicated sews, they, I, I find them really challenging and enjoyable, um, or I like really kind of fast and furious and wear it out later the same day kind of sews so this was a really complicated sew and I think actually the new blouse pattern is the one that's is overtaken it for me in terms of my most favorite so you'll have to wait a couple of weeks to see that one um, but in the meantime I'll show you this so this is it's the Taylor Trench pattern and what I did was Victoria Beckham has a coat I don't know if it's one of her own patterns or if it's something that was made just for her um, or um, I, I think it's one of the ones that she actually sells, but I'm I don't I'm not 100% sure on that. But I took inspiration from this yellow trench that she was photographed wearing that had pleating all around the bottom. So it, it was a regular trench to um, about her knees, and then it had pleats at the bottom, and it just looks beautiful. And so I thought, well, I wonder if I can hack the tailor trench to be similar to that. So. There's quite a few hacks to show you on this, and this is um, not something I would recommend unless you were really confident to do this level of hacking. And um, I've had this yellow, it's kind of like a, almost like a silk fabric um, for a while, and I didn't have any idea of what else to use it for. And I just thought I'll give it a shot and see whether or not I can make it. Um, and when you're doing that level of hack, that's what I would recommend is don't use your favorite fabric you've been hanging on to use something that you think oh well give it a shot so um, this it's got the the top half of it is all completely normal except for the fact there are no uh, buttonholes down the side there are just buttons and I've missed off the top button up here um, same on this side buttons down I've missed the top one up here that was a weight thing these buttons are quite heavy and this is a silk and it was really getting just too much and so I didn't put the top one on because I knew it would be flapping over and I knew also I wasn't planning to do it up I was going to wear it as a dress coat so it I wasn't putting the buttonholes in anyway uh, so the buttons are decorative not functional and then um, this is the this is the uh, let me see how I can show you this if I pull the sleeve up this is what I've done for the pocket so this is a square uh, there we go this is a square of fabric this is not in the pattern and I have cut a square that is the width of the um, side front panel and then um, it goes slightly onto the back back side panel and I cut two layers of fabric stitched them together at the top and turned them through so it's two layers and then I stitched it into this front side seam here and then folded it over and top stitched down so this is um, not very tidy there I've just stitched it down twice to hold it on because I like to actually put things in pockets and even though this is a silk 
I didn't know if I might go out somewhere and the last thing I want is something poking a hole and dropping out the side. Um, then for the sleeves, I actually used for the, um, uh, the sleeve, what sleeve did I use? I th think, uh, no, I think I used one of the blouse sleeves actually. Um, this is not, or is it the Taylor Trench sleeve? I don't know if this is the Taylor Trench sleeve. I think I used a slightly wider sleeve on it. I'll have a, I'll have a check of the video and, and check. But um, it's it's got a much wider sleeve than than the trench coat, like it's it's much looser. And I also cut, chopped the sleeve off and did a, a big deep hem on it. Um, and I just folded the hem under twice, but it comes to comes to about here when I'm wearing it. So it's kind of like a three quarter sleeve. And I just fancied that because I thought I'm I'm going to be wearing this as a dress coat, not as an actual coat. And then. The thing to show you about the collar so this is the collar exactly as it is designed but i don't know if you can see that it's all a bit yellow and light but i've done this the lines of top stitching into this under collar so i've I finished the under collar and then i've just stitched lots of lines onto it um, and that i think gives a really beautiful finish to it and you stitch if you want to do any anything decorative on the collar there's two ways of doing it one is if you want to do decorative stitching through both layers so that's through both layers it's through both layers so that is um i've done that after after i finished the collar but before i've put it on the garment alternatively if you're using a a thicker fabric um something else i really love doing is putting decorative stitching or a different fabric or um, what else have I done? Oh, I saw someone once do fabric painting. That was beautiful. Um, uh, and they did it, and, and I've done it before, just on the underside of the, the top part of the collar or, or on the underside of the under collar. So either of these pattern pieces um, I did before I've done, I've drawn out the pattern piece on the fabric so I knew where it was going to be. Then I've done my embroidery and then I've cut around it and then I stitched it together. And then that way your embroidery is on there and in the right place before you cut it out. And you've got a bigger piece of fabric if you're using your machine or your hands to, to do your embroidery. And then what else is there to show you? So the back of the coat has um, a, um, it's got a, this is not in the pattern either. This is just a big long strip of fabric uh, joined in the middle um, with a kind of stitched in a circle. And I just laid out a piece of fabric, measured across, measured a little bit extra, rounded the edges and um, stitched them together and turned them through. So that was a really easy way to add something decorative to the back that's not on the pattern. And then the bit that you probably all want to see, which I'll have to hold this up for, is the this bottom part. So this <clears throat> I've had the front panel goes all the way down to the bottom of the coat but from the side front all the way through to the other front is all pleated and that is I cannot remember I think it's maybe three and a half yards across a fabric it's a lot <laughs> and the the pleats um, let me see if I can show you really close up. So the pleats are um, stitched. I don't know if the camera is going to catch it, but I wanted to be able to wash it and not worry about all of my pleats dropping out. Now, there are special sprays and irons that you can get that will permanently pleat, pleat fabric. But I didn't have any of those and I was stuck at home with the children. <laughs> so what I did instead was I used top stitching which is um it's almost invisible thread it's um well, it's not invisible but it's almost the exact yellow color or you could use invisible thread and i've stitched down every single one of these plates so every single one of these plates i've just taken the um that's the inside of one of the plates and i've just stitched down that top edge so that it stays um pleated shut like that so I thought that was a really cute little way of doing that. Um, and that is my yellow Victoria Beckham 
trench so um, I hope you enjoyed seeing that unfortunately I cannot share the uh, share my screen on this it's not letting me um, so I can't show you the latest pattern but I did do a, um, a PDF for you oh, that's a bit messy. Um, I did make a PDF for you to show you inside the latest pattern um, so what I will do is get that um, uh, get some of those images posted um, in the Facebook group so that you can see the screenshots inside the pattern which is what I was kind of thinking you might like to see so the latest pattern out today is absolutely adorable and it is a um, a felt doll and vintage suitcase pattern and it is so cute if you liked the quiet book this is one that you have to check out it's you can either you can do all of it either by hand sewing or on the machine so it's a great way if you've got little uh, not little kids but kids who are old enough to sew who are learning to sew and they want to do something it's great for making for grandchildren um, and we've got one um, a couple of people in the VA group who just made it for themselves because it was cute um, and the vintage suitcase that goes with it because it's part of the bundle uh, that um, the idea behind it was um, to have the to keep the felt dolls and all of their little bits in because they have not just the felt doll but you get also all of their clothing so it's like the you know the the paper cutout dolls that you get but they're out of fabric so you can use all of your scraps to make it and then you can put the clothing onto the little doll and play with it and you can take it off and you can change the hair so um uh, my daughter when she saw the design <laughs> was so excited she wants purple hair and blue hair and green hair and yellow hair and <laughs> like you just that's too much sewing <laughs> So um, be careful of showing children the pattern before you decide to make it because you'll get you might just get requests. Um, she wanted a doctor's coat and a teacher's hat and a ballet tutu and all of these things. And frankly, um, no. so, um, I do not have a set of a million things to show you, uh, but instead, please go have a look at the pattern and I will post the pictures. Um, in fact, what I'll do is post them in the comments of this video so you can see the um, see the pattern and see the link. And um, uh, it's got a really good basic um, uh, basics of uh, different items that are in the pattern. Um, in fact, I can tell you what they are. I think there's... Um, uh, let me just open it up and I will tell you exactly what you get. Uh, there's a uh, the doll itself is five inches wide by eight and a half inches high, and there is a um, a bralette tank top, which is um, if you want to be matching your doll. Um, these are all our patterns. So the actual little clothes that go on the doll are the are actual Rebecca Page patterns. So you can make it for the doll, and then you can make it for your little paper doll, and then you can make actual ones for yourself or your child. So then they get to pretend to be you or pretend that the doll is a little twin or whatever they want to do. Um, there's also the Paige pencil skirt, the Houston Henley, the Joe jeans, the comfy cowl, the berry bubble shorts. There's the uh, family pajama tops, pajama bottoms, relaxation robe. So those are all of the, the Rebecca Page patterns that you can put on your little doll. And then you've got the hair. So there's short spiky hair, short hair, short straight hair, curly short hair, long straight hair, ponytail hair, pigtail hair, and bun hair. So you can, almost whatever hairstyle the child or you has, <laughs> you can make. Um, and did you can, if, I'm sure, and we've seen some people already um, doing edits on it to make it look like their hair. So you might have a different hairstyle and wanna, wanna try that. Um, and then there is um, slippers, dress shoes, loafers, and tennis shoes. Uh, so you can um, make the make the doll however you want to make the doll for you and your kitty. And um, that is it. I'll post links to the pattern and I'll post the, um, the uh, images in the chat below this video. So thank you very much. And if you have any patterns that you want to see next week, um, any, uh, what I'm going to try and do is where I've got the actual physical garment for the pattern um, for anything that's just newly released I'll show it on the live but if there's any other older patterns you want to see um, I have a rack of clothes just over there that's got almost every pattern 
not all of them but i've got almost every pattern we've ever made hundreds of them on these racks just out of sight over there that i'm not going to show you because it's really messy but honestly if you want to see inside a pattern or see some hacks that i've done um please just comment and and say because that's what we're here for so thank you everyone really great talking uh please comment below and tell me what you thought